What's up guys, Mikkel here, and it looks like the cryptocurrency market is on the verge of going absolutely parabolic. So far, we've only really seen meme coins and some smaller projects pumping, but in this video, I wanna show you exactly why XRP is going to be one of the cryptocurrencies that benefits most from this institutionally led bull run. And guys, this is not me saying it this time. I wanna show you the big banks themselves directly saying that cryptocurrency solving banking problems are going to disrupt the system as we know it. This is a video you do not want to miss. I also want to talk about something absolutely shocking that happened earlier today in regards to Ethereum being a security. Guys, this is something that I didn't think was ever going to happen. But in this video, I want to show you something that took place earlier today in our government that is really making me question what is going on behind the scenes here. Guys, like always, your support means so much to this channel. Thank you to everyone who takes the time to like the videos and to subscribe to the channel. These things really do help me out so much. Also, if you have any good place to buy some XRP, make sure to check out my favorite exchange up hold down in the description of this video. With that said though, let's jump right into it right after a quick word from the sponsor of this video. I want to start out this video and talk about what happened earlier today that makes me question whether or not the SEC is going to try to come out and call Ethereum a security. Now, for a while on this channel, I had the position that the SEC wasn't going to do this. And the reason I didn't think they were going to do it was that the SEC was heavily tied up in a lot of scandals involving Ethereum. I didn't think they would ever dig up their own grave and essentially bring all the things they did in the past with giving Ethereum a free pass back to light. It seems like they would just want to shove that under the rug and forget about it. It, pretend like it never happened, and if you wanted to pretend like that never happened, why even bring up the question? It seems like most of the market has already accepted that the SEC claimed Ethereum is not a security and kind of moved past that. But what I want to show you is that it looks like the SEC behind the scenes is trying to call Ethereum a security. This clip I'm about to share with you is from a congressional hearing earlier today, and the person talking is the head of the CFTC. Guys, it doesn't seem like this is just speculation. It seems like the head of the CFTC knows that Gary Gensler is trying to pull strings behind the scenes to make Ethereum a security. This is absolutely shocking. Listen up to this. If we do have any action by the SEC to essentially validate um, that decision, mm -hmm. i.e., you know, constituting Ether as a security, it would then put our registrants, our exchanges, who list Ether as a futures contract, sort of in non-compliance of SEC rules as opposed to CFTC rules. So I am working with Chair Gensler, we're working with his office, we're working with the agency to ensure that whatever steps are taken are deliberate, that we're involved, and that they understand certainly what the consequences would be if there was a decision by the agency to determine that Ether was a security. As of now, we need to preserve the integrity of our markets and understand that this is a years old decision where these markets are functioning well under the, under the, the decision and the conclusion that Ether is a commodity. Now, as you can probably tell by this very short clip, the head of the CFTC is a very reasonable guy. This dude is actually doing his job at actually providing clear regulations to the cryptocurrency market so that it can operate how it's supposed to market. This guy has been doing a stand up job of doing his job, right? Going after scams, but at the same time, putting rules forth that good companies can follow. And you can just tell by the way he's talking here. He's like, what is Gary Gensler doing? Your agency already came out and said Ethereum is not a security. Why in the world would you walk that back? The SEC is bouncing back and forth on this decision, acting like it doesn't have any implications, and the head of the CFTC is coming out and saying, look, we already have these brokers registered as CFTC participants trading the Ethereum futures. How are you going to walk that back? All of these players in the industry already put the assumption forward that when you called Ethereum not a security, you weren't going to change your mind a couple years later. Guys, this just shows what a clusterfuck is going on at the SEC. 
The SEC is absolutely failing to protect investors. And in fact, as you can tell by this clip right here, the CFTC commissioner is literally saying the SEC would be taking steps to harm investors because we have already registered these exchanges dealing with Ethereum as CFTC commodity brokers. This is an absolute joke. And regardless of what happened with Ethereum in the early days, it does not make sense to be regulating the market like this. I completely agree that the Ethereum founders should be held responsible for their ICO. I completely agree that Consensus sold securities in the early days and they should be held to the same standards as Ripple is being held to. But the idea that Ethereum itself is a security is just silly. XRP itself is not a security. Ethereum itself is not a security. And the SEC should not be giving guidance to the market and then a couple years later changing their mind. It's an absolute disgrace and the fact that the CFTC chair even has to come out and talk about this stuff is a total embarrassment to everything happening in the United States. I guess the one good takeaway we can take away from this is just that not everyone in our government is Gary Gensler. Not everyone is a corrupt regulator. It looks like there are agencies in our government who actually understand what's going on, actually understand that we need good rules of the road to follow. That's the one positive I can take away from this, but but this is absolute insanity coming out of the SEC. So now I want to move on though and quickly talk about why I think this market is ready to explode. And I, as much as it's interesting to talk about the SEC drama, honestly, I think they're a non-factor going forward. No one is taking them seriously anymore. They're just clearly doing anything to expand their own political jurisdiction. And what we've seen is they used to have a lot of bite. They used to really be able to scare projects and they used to be able to tank the market caps of projects. But now people are just straight up ignoring them. And I think the bull market of 2024 is really going to put the SEC on their butt. Take a look at this right here. Over the first couple months of the Bitcoin ETF, we have already seen 50 billion flow in. And guys, I want to make this explicitly clear on this channel. It is not going to stop at Bitcoin. Bitcoin was the first step. Bitcoin was the institutions getting involved in this industry. Bitcoin was the institutions saying, oh, this is what it's like for us to deal with a cryptocurrency, but they are going to want more. The smashing success of the Bitcoin ETF only confirms that we are going to have so many more new cryptocurrency products in the future. Guys, these big institutions are not maximalists. They're not saying, oh, it's Bitcoin and Bitcoin only. These big institutions are saying, wow, our customers love this. We are making money hand over fist on these fees. What's the next ETF? What's the next product? What's the next way we can adopt blockchain technology? And guys, that is why I am so confident the value is going to flow into assets like XRP. But it doesn't stop there. Take a look at this because this is really going to show you what differentiates XRP from Bitcoin in this market. Guys, Bitcoin is being dubbed digital gold. It's being dubbed a collectible and inflation head, right? It's cool. It's an asset you can collect. I hold Bitcoin. A lot of people hold Bitcoin, whatever. But the thing that Bitcoin has failed to do is actually solve the issues in our financial system. Cryptocurrencies offer better rails to the system. They offer more efficient ways to move money all around the world. And Bitcoin just isn't going to solve that. XRP does everything Bitcoin does in terms of being an inflation hedge, in terms of being digital gold, in terms of being a collectible. In fact, in many aspects, XRP actually has better tokenomics or is a better inflation hedge because it's deflationary while Bitcoin has a set supply. So XRP does everything Bitcoin does in terms of being an inflation hedge, a digital gold or collectible. But the thing Bitcoin can never do is actually revolutionize the financial system. I want to show you a quote from Morgan Stanley here because this is really going to open your eyes to the fact that this is not just me speculating on the success of XRP in the banking system. This is not just some other cryptocurrency influencer saying, oh, every bank's going to use XRP. Listen up to this. This is from one of the biggest institutions out there themselves. Morgan Stanley one of the most important financial consultants in the world has predicted that cryptocurrencies will disrupt the global financial system in 2024. Both stable coins and faster ways to interconnect different payment systems are completely reshaping the global financial system. Guys, this is from Morgan Stanley. This is from one of the big institutions that dominates the current rails. 
What we are seeing is the big financial institutions understand that cryptocurrencies are not just an investment vehicle. It's not just an inflation hedge. The big institutions understand that cryptocurrencies, yes, cryptocurrencies, not private blockchains, are going to completely change the way we move value from point A to point B. And guys, XRP was designed to disrupt this from the start. This is where Ripple has been positioning XRP. This is XRP's primary use case in this next generation financial system we're heading into the big institutions know what's coming they're directly saying it cryptocurrencies are going to change the financial system and xrp is the best suited cryptocurrency to make that disruption happen guys this disruption is going to happen at a rapid pace we have been held back by regulations we have been held back by the fact that the big institutions right really haven't been allowed into this market in the way they have wanted to but that is going to change and that is going to change fast and i believe xrp is going to be a clear leader when this happens and guys i just want to finish this video off and just quickly show you the xrp price chart because the other day we had a really 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 negative red day and I just want to show you how quickly things can change as you can see that entire negative day we had uh, the other day, not to just keep repeating the same words, but has completely wicked back up and we're back at the top of this symmetrical triangle. That's the nice part about being at the end of this thing. We can bounce to the bottom, we can bounce to the top, but we are now putting consistent pressure on this top resistance. Guys, all we need is that one catalyst. All we need is that one thing to go in the market to make this thing rip. It seems like to me, most of the other coins are really starting to get their momentum. XRP always takes its time to make its first move but it is positioned absolutely perfectly to really get some momentum going and guys everything looks like to me that morgan stanley is going to be right 2024 is going to be an explosive year for cryptocurrencies but specifically the cryptocurrencies causing real change in the system xrp is positioned absolutely perfectly to benefit the most anyway guys thank you so much for coming i hope you enjoyed this update if you did make sure to like and subscribe it really does mean so much and for now mickle out Woo!